The cheapest projector from Xiaomi. The Wanbo T2 Max. Like you've never seen. Enter and let's start. Digital greetings to all. Finally, after a few weeks of waiting, Wanbo T2 Max projector arrived, which belongs to the Xiaomi ecosystem, and that everyone wanted to see. But before, check out my other projector videos, because this is not an impromptu video, this is a saga of projectors. Where is Wanbo? It's one more projector, and I do reviews to learn about technology. The Wanbo T2 Max is a LED projector, with closed optics system, and it has many more advantages that you will know today. It is very famous and the favorite in social networks. Today we are going to see why and what is its secret, and I recommend that you stay until the end. Not only because the video is very good, but, because I will explain how to buy this projector. Also, I have a surprise for all my subscribers. Now yes, let's go with your unboxing. This is the Wanbo T2 Max box, where it indicates its main characteristics. But the most remarkable thing is its practical portability, and his low weight. When you open the box, there is the projector protected with foam. A small instruction manual. A 19 volt, 3 amp power adapter. That generates 57 watts of consumption. A power cord for the adapter. And a nice white remote control has the necessary keys, and uses two AAA batteries for its operation. Also, this controller is not Bluetooth, it's infrared, but you will see that it works very well. And here we have the Wanbo T2 Max in its Andy scratch bag, and you can see at first glance how compact it is. At the top, we find the power button, and also this wheel to do the manual focus. On the front is the lens. And this is glass, not plastic. Some plastic protections to avoid scratches. And a grill for the hot air outlet. That comes out of the radiator of this projector. On the sides it integrates two speakers. They are 3 watts of power each for stereo sound. And on the back are your connections. The voltage input. A single USB 2.0 input. One HDMI output. A small status LED light and a 3.5mm audio output, to use in some sound equipment. In addition, it has this grill through which the air enters, flowing from back to front, and this cools the inside of the projector. At the bottom is the data label of the Wanbo T2 Max, and a quarter inch thread, to place it on a tripod, and four rubber feet to put it on a table. How do you see this Wanbo T2 Max? It is easily manipulated from any side, and that makes it very comfortable to transport. The Wanbo T2 Max LED projector. It is very reasonably priced. It costs between $140 and $160 on AliExpress. And for all the specifications it offers, I think it's a fair price. Its main features are LED LCD projection technology, brightness of 200 ANSI lumens, Full HD native resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Integrates 1 GB of RAM and 16 GB of storage. Integrates the Android 9 operating system. Integrates adjustable 4-point keystone correction. Allows Wi-Fi projection from smartphones. Integrates Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity. Projection size up to 200 inches. 6-watt stereo sound power. LED lifespan up to 30,000 hours and it only weighs 900 grams, that is, less than 1 kilo. Now we are going to do your digital autopsy. But before, a few days ago I posted on my social networks. Mikul will launch a new TV stick, repowered with 2 gigabytes of RAM, certified with Netflix 4K and with the new Google TV 11. It is the new Mikul KD3, and from this channel, just like I did with the KM2, I will raffle 2 KD3, to send them to any country in the world. The only thing you have to do, is to follow me and comment on this post on my networks. The more social networks you comment on it, more chances you have to win, comment what you want, but you must follow me and tell me what country you are from. The raffle will be at the end of the month, and in the description of the video I leave you the links to participate, but don't worry, do it after watching this video, because the best is coming. 
Now let's see how this Wanbo T2 Max is built. Under its rubber feet, there are two screws that hold the lid. Then it's just a matter of skill and a bit of leverage. And all have the lid off. The lid has an infrared receiver with a connector. To release the inner block, I have to remove these two screws. And these other two that are hidden under the label. Then I have to take off this cover. To remove the controls from the top. And now yes, I will be able to take out this compact projector. I'll just unplug his Wi-Fi antenna to set him free. The Wanbo T2 Max is a sealed optics system projector. Since all its optical components such as the LED, the lenses, the LCD screen, etc. are locked inside this box. Now I can see why this Wanbo is so small. This one doesn't have the big lower turbine, which did have the X-Ming Q1 projector. Instead, it has these two little fans, to cool the power LED and its radiators. At least this could be an advantage, to reduce noise from this projector. It also integrates two small cylindrical shaped loudspeakers. And inside them are the 3 watt speakers. Despite their small size these speakers sound good, and strong enough for a medium room. The whole system is controlled by this card. Here is the M-Star brand processor, not a very powerful model. But that's how it is when you want to reduce the cost of a device. And this is the Wi-Fi module. But it is not double band. All processing is sent by this flag to the LCD, which is inside sealed optics. And although you shouldn't open it, to prevent dust from entering, I'll do some more digging, removing this rear radiator. And here you can see the flag that goes to the internal LCD screen. It even has a small fan that cools the interior. Wow, I didn't expect that. A nice piece of technology in my hands. It is obvious that it is not premium. But for its price, it has not disappointed me. For most users, this projector will suffice. But there will be more demanding people who can pay a little more. And get better features like its big brother. The Wanbo T6 Max. That costs almost twice as much and offers 500 lumens of brightness and soon I will have it on my channel. But now, let's test this projector. Now I will install the Wanbo T2 Max on my tripod. That will allow me to manipulate it with precision. And then the only thing to do, is to plug in the voltage adapter, turn off the light in my living room, and turn on the projector. The Android interface starts to load. Right now, I have the projector 3 meters from the wall. And at that distance I have 100 inches of projection. I need to turn off all the light in my living room. And this is the Android operating system that integrates this projector. Attention, this is not Android TV. But rather, it is like the Android that non-certified TV boxes integrate. But the important thing is that it works. Setting up the Wanbo T2 Max is very easy. Some changes you can make from this side menu and others from this system menu. And the first thing I will do is connect it to my Wi-Fi network. Although the Wanbo does not have a dual band connection. They can also change the language of the menu if they wish. In the side menu we can see some internal configurations. Like Android version. Which as you can see is version 9 or Android Pi. We can also see the applications. These came by default pre-installed. The storage remaining on the projector. It's about 12 gigabytes free. And the option to restore the Wanbo to factory conditions. This other menu is more specific to the projector. And from here you can access for example. To projection options and keystone correction. Select the only two input sources. Red media from a USB. Add devices via Bluetooth. Configure with which source your projector should start, default with Android or with your HDMI device. Go straight to side settings. And this one that seemed very good to me, memory cleaning. Very useful to close applications running in the background. Also, if you sign in with your Google account, you can download the applications available in the Play Store. That as you see, there are many. 
but if your favorite app is not in the Play Store. You can also install any APK to this projector. And with Downloader I am going to download the APK of Majus TV. This is my favorite application, to see all the channels of America. Many people buy a TV box, only for this application, but with this Wanbo T2 Max you have everything in one, and on a large 100-inch screen. Because this app is very light, 1 GB of RAM is enough to move it smoothly. In addition to applications, the Wanbo T2 Max has other display options. For example using eShare and scanning the QR code. You can duplicate the screen of your cell phone over Wi-Fi. You can see absolutely everything on your cell phone. And the transmission is not cut, nor does it lag. In the same way to have a better processing. You can use a TV box with a better processor. In the projector menu you go to input source. Choose the HDMI option and that's it. So you can have the real certified Android TV. With all the advantages offered by this operating system. You can connect any device that has an HDMI output. I will connect this powerful mini PCS 500 Plus to it. This is the coolest thing about a projector. Imagine presenting your work with this device. Here you can watch movies from your browser. And run your software simulations. But the most epic are the games. Just imagine playing Halo Infinite on 150 inches, like I'll do now. Remember that this projector is full HD and the brightness is good. Playing this way is quite an experience. On this large screen the details are very realistic. And the competitors are almost my size. You play practically life-size. Making this every gamer's dream. The fans of the Wanbo T2 Max do not make a lot of noise. And the sound quality is sufficient for a small room. And it more or less sounds like this. But to enjoy football matches much better. The best thing is to connect a soundbar via Bluetooth. Let's go hook it up. I will simply place my soundbar on the floor, and I will plug it into this electrical outlet. And so I can enjoy football on the giant screen. Then in the menu choose Bluetooth, and select Add Accessory. The projector will automatically search for the soundbar. And as you can see, he already found it. I just select it and I give it to synchronize Bluetooth. And that's it, the bar will be connected. <laughs> An important feature of this projector is your keystone correction system. That is why it is not mandatory that the projector is facing the wall, and you can place it at any end of your room. But by putting a projector at one end, the image will be very distorted, showing a shorter and a longer end. To correct this distortion you enter the projector option. Here you select the option trapezoid four points, and then with the remote control, you must move the white dots that appear in the corners. This has to be done in every corner, to restore the screen shape. Also this is very helpful, so as not to have the projector always in a single position, and be able to move it where we want. Although this correction is manual and not automatic, not built into most cheaper projectors, you can also set the trapezoid, and move the projection shape at different angles, and adapt it to almost any surface. Finally, I am going to compare this Wanbo T2 Max, with the previous projector I reviewed, which is a little bigger and more expensive, but they belong to the same market segment. I will connect them to their power sources, and I'm going to turn them on at the same time. Q1 reacts almost immediately, and it takes only 10 seconds to be ready to go, while the Wanbo takes about 30 seconds to be ready. Here's the cost difference. 
The Q1 has better processing, both in speed and in image. And now I will connect them to the same video signal, from a TV box to have a better reference. And here you also see a better answer from Q1. It reacts half a second before the Wanbo. Although that small difference is not very important. Now with the TV calibration app, I will check the brightness and color quality on both projectors. See what the red color looks like. The green. The blue. The cyan. The yellow. The magenta. And the white. And precisely at the maximum white brightness of each projector, I will measure the lux intensity of each one with an app. And this are the results. The Xming Q1 that is on the left. It has a bit more brightness than the Wanbo T2 Max. But it cost about $100 more. And that is something that many people will not want to pay. Do you think these differences justify those $100 more? Well, draw your own conclusions with these images. And put your answer in the comments. While the Xming Q1 offers images with better contrast, more shine and better processing, the Wanbo T2 Max also offers good images and with the advantage of having Android already integrated, and the option to move the corners to correct the projection. All this will help you choose. The big question is, Javi, where did you buy it? Well, stay to explain where I buy. I make my purchases on AliExpress. And I am an expert there because I am over 30. But not 30 orders. If not, 30 order pages. That is, more than 300 purchases and all with success. You can buy it wherever you want. But the links in the description of my videos, they are from verified stores. I understand that you are afraid to buy online. And in justified fear due to ignorance of new technologies. Therefore, soon I will make a video to learn how to buy online, and what you must take into account to be successful. For now, you just have to click on the purchase links. I leave you in the description of the video. If you don't have an AliExpress account, create one. Add a card and pay. After a few weeks, the product will arrive at your home, as long as you have written your address correctly. For many countries this is a great purchase. Because this projector is not a prohibited merchandise, plus, it costs less than $200, that's why they won't charge you taxes. I only paid $159, 142 from the projector and 17 from shipping, and I think it was a fair price. But that will also depend on the offers of each season. Don't think that prices always stay the same. And this was just a shopping aid. It depends on you if you buy it now, or wait for later. Of all the projectors I've reviewed so far, this is the one I would recommend. Why? Well, let's see his pros and cons of him. To be native Full HD and Keystone corrected, the price is pretty good. As it already integrates Android, no need to buy a TV box. Thanks to its four-point correction, allows you to position it at any angle. During testing, its internal fan was very quiet. And it is very compact to take it with you anywhere. And its cons are. The brightness does not appear to be 200 ANSI lumens, they only look like 150. It doesn't have a great processor, so don't expect it to be very fast either. And it only has 1 GB of RAM. But that is not important if you use it with a TV box. But despite its cons, its price is unbeatable for a full HD projector, with a brightness between 150 and 200 ANSI lumens. In addition, it is a product of the Xiaomi ecosystem, which supports its quality. Still need to see other projectors, but I do not think that those who come, be cheaper than this Wanbo T2 Max. Although the Wanbo T2 Max already integrates Android, will work better with a certified TV box. Friends, my videos are just a reference, that's why I like to do a serious analysis, technical and with many functional tests. But it's not an invitation to buy. In the end, you decide under those references, whether or not they like each device. Thanks for getting here. If you liked this video, automatically subscribe to my channel, and activate the notification bell. Because all the time I upload this type of content, informative, entertaining, and technically based, I am the electronic engineer Javier Guerrero. Help me.
and let's democratize technology. Until the next video.